guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and it's time to once again look at my stuff. That's right, it's a brand new toy haul video, but what's a little different about this particular haul is that I haven't actually been toy hunting anywhere in the past couple weeks. So everything that I'm showing you guys in today's video is all the result of like random online shopping that I've done in the past couple weeks. And also there's a theme because everything I've bought is vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles toys. It's uh, it's always funny when this thing happens, this, this sort of like accidental shopping kind of thing, because we all do it. And regardless if you're a toy collector or what you're collecting, I'm certain you've been in this position where you just kind of randomly come across something and it's a good deal and you're like, I'll buy it. And then it just like opens the floodgates and you start buying other things. And that's kind of what happened to me. I had a little bit extra money to spend. I haven't been to a toy show or toy shopping in a while. And then it just kind of spirals and you find things and you get cool things. So uh, I thought it'd be cool to do a video to show you guys the cool new Ninja Turtles toys that I bought in the past couple weeks here. So first things first, this first thing was actually a gift from a viewer. And I wanted to show this off because it perfectly ties in to my last toy hunting and toy haul video. You might remember if you saw my toy hunting at Kane County Toy Show recently, and then my follow-up where I did the uh, toy haul video from that show. I talked about the uh, Rock and Roll Ninja Turtles and the tour bus, which you can see on my shelf back here, and how happy I was to pick that set up. And while I was talking about that, I mentioned that there was also a Rock and Roll Mondo Gecko that goes with those. He's even pictured on the stickers on the bus. And massive shout out to my friend Brett who mailed me this beautiful golden box and when I opened up this golden box the rock and roll Mondo Gecko was inside and he is minty mint and pretty and he's got his accessories I love this because he um he's got a little sidekick character which is a sunflower I think his name is Sunny uh, the, the sunflower and he's holding up a peace sign. So the whole thing with Mondo Gecko is he's kind of got the hippie thing going on. So you can see he's totally rocking bell bottoms. He's got a fringe vest. He's got his hair tied back in a ponytail with a little bandana on. Uh, he's got a peace sign around his neck and on his waist. So Sonny the sunflower makes total sense to be his little sidekick character, right? You know, flower power, that sort of thing. Um, so Mondo Gecko here comes with a few accessories. First of all, he's totally rocking uh, a guitar to go with the band. But what's fun about that is the guitar has the ability to fold up and it's got wheels on it. So it turns into a skateboard or a scooter, I guess, cause it's got a handle. Uh, so it kind of fits in with Mondo Gecko's skating theme, which I think is really cool. Uh, and then in addition to that, he also comes with this sign that he can hold that says, well, it said peace dudes, but peace is crossed out. And instead it says pizza dudes. I love it. It's just so weird and bizarre, but the details are amazing. I love the bright colors on there. I mean, look at the little glasses at the end of Mondo Gecko's nose. How cool is that? So he's a great figure there and he's going to fit in right here on my tour bus with the rest of my rocking and rolling Ninja Turtles. But what's also great is Brett also included a few other things that I didn't already have. So to go with the other, um, turtles in that particular set i got mikey's microphone nunchucks i got one of raf's drumstick size and i got leonardo's like guitar fret uh katana blade they're amazing they're so cool and i'm so happy to to kind of uh basically finish off that set i've got a few more accessories to complete the turtles there but I'm, I'm stoked to have Mondo Gecko join the batch and I seriously appreciate the extra weapons. So Brett, thank you, man. That was very cool of you to gift that to me and send that stuff to me. I love it and I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you very much. So uh, let's go ahead and get into some of the stuff that I'm buying. I've got it all kind of stacked up here. So I'm just gonna be picking it up and showing it to you guys. So kind of sticking with the theme of the Rock and Roll Turtles. This is kind of funny how this came about because this is one of those things that I just randomly ran across online and it was dirt cheap, so I had to buy it since I just got the other ones. Look, I got a carded version of Leo and look at how crisp the card back is. It's unpunched, it's like in perfect shape. Uh, I couldn't believe how cheap this was when I found it online. It's in amazing shape. You can see he's got all of his accessories. Here's the bummer part. 
And this happens with old figures. I've actually had this happen with a few vintage Ninja Turtles before. When I got it in the mail, it was perfect. I was holding it, I was looking at it, and then as I was kind of inspecting it, messing with it, I kind of nudged it a little bit. The glue had completely like just dried up and, and the bubble, look, seamlessly detached from the card back. It was perfect when it showed up, but as I was kind of just holding it and stuff, I bumped it and I knocked this right off. So I went from having like a perfect mint on card uh, classic rocker Leo to having one that's kind of um, that's off the bubble. So it's a little bit of a bummer, but it's still in such great shape. And you know, look, this is all complete now. So I haven't decided how I'm going to handle that yet. I'm, I guess I could just make them loose and have all his accessories and I can replace the one that's in there, which isn't, you know, quite as in good a shape. But man, the card back and everything's so perfect. So I don't know. Let's see, we got the original $3.99 price tag on there. Look at that. So, yep, yeah, bit of a bummer. It happens sometimes with the older, these older figures. Like I said, I've had it happen to me before in the past, and it's always always a bit of a bummer when that happens. So the rest of these are all in better shape. And the, the best thing about this entire stack is, like, I, I paid such good prices for all of this. That's why I bought it. Like, some of this stuff was so cheap, I couldn't believe it. And it's just doing random shopping online. Um, so I picked up Shogun April O'Neil. I didn't have the Shogun version yet. They, there were so many different versions of April. Um... You know, that they, it's amazing how many variants they did of April. So this was towards the end of the line. They did all of these Shogun figures. And the Shogun Turtles themselves are actually, uh, they're a little more expensive when you come across them. Not like super expensive, but they're some of the pricier Turtles variants. April, however, not so much. You know, the April figures usually just don't sell for a ton. Um, but it's still nice to have it. It's in great shape. And you can see this is one of those kind of towards the end of the line card backs there with a lot of these later characters. Look, scratches on there. Um, so, you know, pretty cool stuff. She's got the rooted hair, which makes her stand out. Kind of like Ravishing Reporter uh, April. So, yeah, pretty cool. Glad to have that one in the collection. Here's a really good one that you guys are going to love. And, and this is another one that's like, I couldn't believe that I found this for the price that I did. Um, and it's still in the plastic. I'm going to leave it like that right now because I want to kind of protect this one. This is the original undercover Donatello, and he is in a perfect unpunched card back. Look at how pretty that is. Of course, this is one of the first variants they did of the Turtles in the original line. Um, he was in the same wave that had Raph the Space Cadet and Mikey the Sewer Surfer and Leo the Sewer Samurai. And you guys might have seen the video I did around Christmas time where I talked about how important um, Raph and Mikey the Sewer Surfer, Mikey the Sewer Surfer and Raph the Space Cadet are to me because, um, I loved those two as a kid. So this is a, definitely a special one and I was really happy to be able to get this one like complete because even my loose undercover Donnie, I don't think has all the stuff because the stickers and everything are in there for the inside of the briefcase. So gorgeous, gorgeous figure. Love it. Love it. Uh, this one is weird. I've been wanting to get more of these for a while, and I was really happy to find this one. This is the Jim Lee Raphael. So these um, these guys are insane. Um, they're crazy um, artistic representations of the turtles done by comic book artist Jim Lee. You guys all know Jim Lee, right? Famous comic book artist. I love his artwork, uh, but the, his version of the turtles were always really, really out there. So they're huge and they're beefed up. In fact, um, when the Michael Bay turtles movies came out and they first revealed those designs, I always said that they reminded me of Jim Lee's turtles because you can see how big and crazy Raph looks there, right? Um, interesting fact about this series is they only released Mikey and Don and Raph. Leo never came out, which is really, really bizarre especially since he's one of the more popular turtles, but you can also see like Savage Dragon and stuff was was in the assortment. So yeah, really cool. I'm kind of glad to get this one in the package and with all the accessories. Look at the painted weapons. You don't see that very often, right? Look at that turtle com in there. That's pretty sweet. So yeah, that's a good one. One of those oddball ones that's always good to have. I love the oddball stuff sometimes. Uh, I've been getting a lot of the wacky action turtles lately, which is really cool. So I have never actually had this wacky action splinter before. And you can see it's another really, really great clean card back that's unpunched. It's amazing that I've been coming across these lately. Uh, but yeah, he's such a bizarre splinter. I mean, he's so different looking than all the other splinters wearing that armor and everything. And he's got all these crazy weapons. Look at all these weapons. He's got like this little like a uh, spike ball and a plunger with spikes on it and a little knife. And then it's weird, he's got like a little pet rat guy sitting on a little little uh, stick there. So 
<laughs> really, really cool. I just, I love these wacky action figures. I've got uh, a couple of the other ones carded too. I know I've got like, a, I picked up the Bebop at Kane County, which is really, really great. Um, okay, so this next assortment is a really great assortment. And I actually got all of these um, from a very cool toy shop that's actually located in North Carolina. So I want to give them a shout out called Cro-Mag Toys. And uh, I actually bought online from them, um, but you can find them on Facebook if you want to check them out. It's C-R-W-E-M-A-G Toys, Cro-Mag Toys. Um, they have, um, they had an amazing assortment of turtles. Like they got this big collection of turtles in stock in the store and they put a picture up of it on Facebook and listed prices. Um, so I got to give a shout out to my buddy Joe also, cause he's the one that pointed this out to me. Um, but yeah, I, so I, I immediately saw a bunch of stuff that I needed and the prices were great. So I contacted cro and they did an amazing job, uh, great customer service. And I got these awesome toys. So I finished up my Star Trek turtles collection. Uh, I, I only owned Captain Leonardo the Kirk Leonardo. And I got him carded too, actually. So now I have uh, Chief Medical Officer Raphael. I have Chief Engineer Michelangelo. And I have First Officer Donatello. Donatello is Spock. And again, these card backs are amazing. They are unpunched. They are so clean. Um, and I love these. And since I'm a, I'm a Trek fan also with Turtles, I always thought this was one of those really fun crossovers that they did so uh, now i've got all four of the turtle star trek figures and i'm really really happy about that and then i saved the best for last because this was my most exciting pickup and again these also come from chromag toys so check these out i got cave woman april and her radical raptor and cave beast bebop and is Bodacious Brontosaurus. These are the last two dino sets that I needed. I have all four turtles with their dinosaurs, uh, with their boxes, and now I have April and Bebop. And I have been after both of these for a long time. I never come across them. I think I came across them at a Kane County toy show a couple years ago and I passed on them and I really, really regretted it. So I was so happy to get these added to the collection. I love the dinosaur turtles. I just think that's such a cool assortment. If you've never seen them before here, I'll show you the back of the box, the cross sell there. Um, but you know, they, if you've paid attention to the newer stuff, they did kind of like a newer version of these for the Half Shell Heroes line. They actually did like an animated special. My son loves it. He watches it all the time. Um, but yeah, I just, I love these classic turtle dinosaur sets. And I'm so happy to have April and especially the Bebop in the collection. So. Chromag Toys, go check them out, because it was very, very cool that I was able to pick these up and add them to my collection. And there you go! That's my toy haul this time! Lots of cool Ninja Turtle stuff, but uh, I'm really happy to be building that up and doing uh, picking some of these up. Some of these things I've been wanting to pick up because I have, like, all these ideas on my head, which I always have, um, you know, thoughts of different things I want to do video-wise. And these Dino Turtles have really, really been on my mind for a while, so maybe... I'll be able to do something with those in the future. But, um, you know, most of the time when I pick this stuff up, that's just where my my mind goes. And that's usually, I usually have an ulterior motive to buy in some of the stuff other than just adding it to my collection. So, you know, doing what I do with the videos, I'll just leave that to you guys to kind of, you know, think about. I'm not saying I'm rushing into any of this, but you never know. You never know. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this fun little video. Um, I always love kind of doing these fun little just chats with you guys to show off some of the stuff. Um, let me know in the comments what you think. If you've got any of this stuff, if you found anything cool yourself, tell me about it. Post about it in the comments. Let me hear about your hauls as well. Don't forget to hit the like button. And of course, guys, subscribe. That way you never miss out on any of my toy videos. I do all kinds of crazy toy stuff on this channel. Thanks for watching, guys. And until next time.